everyone. So at long last, I am finally getting around to doing this video. This is the first part in however many parts of us playing the QI travel game. And basically, if you didn't see the whole video when I showed this, which was months ago now, it's basically just a bunch of general knowledge questions. So we will see how many we can get right. My general knowledge is not that great. So I expect you all will do much better than me. But let's see. So this is the game here. Um, this we get Klaxon, which I won't press because it's quite noisy. And then we have Pack One. How to play. Pack Two. So we have Steven's Specials. We have what I believe are ordinary cards with the answers on the back. So I think. We'll go with this one. No, we won't. We'll go with the purple ones. Because they look more generic, I think. This isn't working, is it? There we go. So as you can see, I've not looked through these. I haven't got a clue what the answers are and considering the first question is about football we're not going to get off to a good start but if you play along feel free to tell me how many you get right as I think I've mentioned my general knowledge is abysmal so who were the first British football club to, to contest and win an international trophy West Auckland West Bromwich Albion or West Ham I will say C West Ham. Question 2. Where did the Euro first become legal tender? New Caledonia, United Kingdom, Vatican City. Well, I know which one I can rule out there. Um, just because I can point to it on a map more successfully, I'm going to say Vatican City. So I've said C. Are we ready to look? Oh, I suck. <laughs> first one is West Auckland and second one is New Caledonia. I won't read out the answers but you can pause the video just now if you wish to read the details for further information. Hmm, very interesting. Which country is the world's largest importer of human hair? China, India or the USA? Importer? I'm going to have to say the USA. What's the biggest health risk for new fathers in Britain? <laughs> Alcoholism, obesity, and nappy rash. Um, I'm going to say obesity. But that's one I haven't actually got a clue. So I'm going for C, USA, B, obesity. Ah, this makes up for the previous card. The first one, I got the USA. And the second one, is obesity. Why was the German chemist Frederick Achim hounded out of Britain in 1821? For campaigning against poison in food, for trying to create artificial life, for his alleged vampirism. Oh, all three of those are fantastic answers. I, I honestly don't know. So I will go with for trying to create artificial life because to be the most appropriate when I have my little Frankenstein's creature Boris Karloff on. <laughs> Why do pigeons jerk their heads backwards and forwards when they walk? To act as a counterbalance to their bodies? To confuse predators? <laughs> they don't. I'm pretty sure they do. I know seagulls do. So let's go A. So I'm going to go B and A. A is for campaigning against poisoning and food. 
and see apparently pigeons don't and I bet every single one of us is now going to observe the next pigeon that we see. Okay. The word Coventry comes from the city of Coventry. What does it mean? To ride a bicycle, to destroy a city by bombing, or to refuse to talk to someone. I'll go with C, to refuse to talk to someone. What was unusual about the 1940 death of the influential American inventor Thomas Midgley? I've heard of Midgley, but I can't answer this question. He was the first casualty of an atomic explosion. He was trying to get out of bed. He died on live television. I'm trying to think when television black and white sets first came out. I kind of want to say that he died on live television. But I kind of think 1940 seems too far back for that. Um, okay, I'm going to take a risk. So I'm saying C for both of them. <laughs> yes. To destroy a city by bombing is what Coventry means. And he was trying to get out of bed. Huh. Well, that's bizarre. True or false? If you chop a flatworm in half, it will form two separate living worms. False. I'm sure that question has actually been on QI before. In fact, all of these questions may well have been on QI, but I'm sure I remember that one. False. How does rapeseed get its name? From a medieval belief in its aphrodisiac power? God, I hope that's not it. From the title of a Shakespeare poem? From the word for a turnip? Oh, gosh, um... I hope it's not A, that's pretty brutal. Uh, let's go with C. So false and C. True. I'm fairly certain that that was false on QI, unless it wasn't specific. Ah, oh, there we go. Misleading. Same is not true, of course, for earthworms. There's a radical difference between flatworms and earthworms, and I cannot tell you all that difference is. Ah, from the word for a turnip. Latin for the turnip is rapa or rapa. I'd love to learn Latin, but I'm track I can't find a course anywhere that does it. Okay. Why was Thomas Allenson, who founded the Allenson Bakery, struck off as a doctor in 1892? <laughs> for inventing white bread, for seeking publicity, for trying to assassinate Queen Victoria. For seeking publicity. In 2008, authorities in Iran denounced the smuggling of what toy as a social danger? Barbie dolls, Lego, Rubik cubes. I'm sure I remember something about this on one of those like 100 nations favourite toys or something like that, but I can't remember the answer, so I'm going to go with Lego. So that is B for both options for my answers. Oh, good enough. B is for seeking publicity, but I was incorrect. But this does make more sense than Lego, I think. Barbie dolls were said to be culturally destructive. Yes, that's clearly the case. Okay. In the years since World War II, what happened to the levels of essential minerals and fruit and vegetables eaten in Britain? The levels have fallen. The levels have risen. The levels have remained the same. Is our soil more enriched now than it was before we were bombed to bits? Let's say the levels have risen. What game takes its name from the word meaning hobby? Ludo, Monopoly, Sabutio. It's not Monopoly. Kind of feel like it would be Ludo. Okay. So I'll go for B and A. The levels have fallen, apparently. Over the last 60 years, they have fallen by up to 76%. And Sabutio, which is apparently called Hobby. Okay, another Latin point there. Okay, so, where is the oldest surviving branch of the Mormon Church in the world? Brisbane, Australia. Preston, Lancashire. Salt Lake City, Utah. 
because I had a dream involving Salt Lake City, I'm going to say Salt Lake City. Who or what was the hot and tot Venus? That's fun to say. Hot and tot. Hot and tot. I like that. A 19th century freak show exhibit. A lost painting by Leonardo da Vinci. The code name of the first nuclear submarine. Hot and tot Venus. I don't think it's B. I kind of think A is too old. Let's go with C. So that's C for both answers. Oh, I'm really not good at this. <laughs> Never trust your dreams because it's Preston, Lancashire, not Salt Lake City, Utah. It's ten years before Salt Lake City. And there was a freak show exhibit. I kind of thought that was too thin and the obvious, but no, it's not. <laughs> a few more cards I think. Who won awards at the first ever Crofts dog show? Charles Dickens, Edward Elgar, Queen Victoria. I really recognise the name Edward Elgar and I can't, I can't place it so I'm going to say Edward Elgar although I kind of feel like it was Queen Victoria. What is the oldest living thing on earth? A tree, a seagrass, a mushroom. I don't know why I read those backwards. This was on QI. I'm certain this was on QI. And I can't remember. A mushroom. Mushroom. Okay, so I'm going to go B, Edward Alga. A, a mushroom. <laughs> C, Queen Victoria. I should have stuck with my gut. B, a seagrass. A field of seagrass in the centre of the Mediterranean is believed to be at least 100,000 years old and possibly twice that. But I'm sure that was definitely on QI. Even though I kind of incorrectly remembered it. The Pacific Island of New New was the first in the world to do what? Celebrate the millennium in 2000. Abolish all forms of government. Provide Wi-Fi for the entire country. I have no idea. I'm going to go with the one that I kind of feel is the least likely and say provide Wi-Fi for the entire country. Which animal has the fastest wing beat in nature? Housefly, the hummingbird and the midge. I think it's the hummingbird. Again, I'm sure that question was on QI. I remember there being something about birds and like it showed slowed down footage of their wings in action. So I'm going to go Wi-Fi and hummingbird. Ah, actually it is Wi-Fi. 2003 it created the first infrastructure needed I've just added in words to this it created the infrastructure needed to make wireless internet access available across the whole island and Midge beat their wings more than a thousand times a minute Pretty impressive Ok we'll do two more cards What right was given to defendants in English criminal trials by the 1898 Criminal Evidence Act? The right to silence the right to speak in their own defence. The right to be considered innocent and proved otherwise. Oh. Okay. I guess this is a pretty easy one if you study criminal law. But I don't. I read a lot of crime fiction, but we don't go there. I read a lot of contemporary crime fiction. Um, let's say the right to be... I kind of feel like considered innocent came in later. I'll say speak in their own defence. Which country only legalised the ownership of home computers in 2008? Cuba, Kuwait and the UK. Well I hope it's not the UK otherwise we've all been living very illegally for a long time. Let's go with Kuwait. So that's B for both. Oh, they like to speak in their own defence. Uh, but A was Cuba. That one was purely a guess ban on computers and DVD players was lifted in 2008. No toasters remained forbidden because of limited electricity supplies. That's very interesting. Last two for this video. In 1993, Lambeth Council in London was reported to have issued a council tax bill to who? God, Osama bin Laden, Queen Victoria. 
Well, if anything, Queen Victoria would be a stupid one, considering she'd been dead for quite a long time. God would be a bit of an uproar, I think. So I'm going to go with Osama Bin Laden. What colour is our galaxy, the Milky Way, when seen from outside? I'll go with no one knows, but the options there are red, white, and no one knows. That's Bin Laden, and no one knows. I was completely wrong on both counts. The God. <laughs> this is actually quite funny. They actually issued three bills to God the Father, God the Son. And got the Holy Ghost all resident at the Church of St John the Divine in Brixton. That's actually so funny. I'm going to have to go and look up that on the internet once I finish this video because that's just mental. And judged by the closest comparisons amongst the million or so galaxies that astronomers can observe from outside, the Milky Way would look white to someone from another galaxy. Well, it is milky. Okay, so I'm going to pop these back of the pack. I think which way I do it. I'll do it that way. So we have our questions for the next video there. Then we have the ones that we've already answered on this side. No, no I'll do it that way. So we have the ones that... No, I'll do it that way. I'm getting so confused. <laughs> Trying to logically work out the best system for this. But yes, I promise I will not look through these before the next video. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this one. Let me know if you'd like these to be longer, or if you think that's enough general knowledge to have shoved at you at one video. Thank you for watching this. Any suggestions for any others? I would love to hear them. I'm going to try and wedge this back into this little packet now. There we go. Yes, any suggestions for any other videos? Let me know. And I will speak to you all soon. Bye.